What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It is the Kefalos here and today we are going to be continuing our playthrough of Ruined King. So as usual, if you guys are going to enjoy it, consider leaving a like as well as hitting that big red sub button down below. I really, really appreciate your support. But most importantly, you won't miss future episodes or uploads of single player content just like this one here on my channel. So thank you for doing so. I've already done it. And with that being said, let's get this thing started. So here we are in the game. We are going to want to head back to the Grove. We are done here in the Purification Temple. Uh, we beat something called a Corrupted Seed in the last episode and right now our new objective is to return to Maokai so I did a little, little bit of exploring around this area here um, because if you recall we took a rest before we encountered we entered the Torrent's Crucible um, we took a rest here so I suspect the, uh, there are going to be enemies outside um, thank god for us thank god there was actually a device here um, which would actually allow us to teleport back to the entrance how do I know this that's because like I said I did a little bit of exploring and I noticed that this is a teleporter so uh, let's go ahead and return to the entrance of the temple and see what happens. This blade, a monarch's blade, still sharp after all this time. He was a mighty ruler who commanded vast armies, just like you will, when the mist is yours. Let us see how his strength has grown. Awaken, mighty king! I... I remember you. Wait, where is my queen? This again. My lord, you are building your strength. We will find her soon. He's not getting any stronger. It'll be easier to take his magic than you said. Who speaks to me in such a tone? I'm Gangplank, Reaver King of Bilgewater. Your kingdom is dead, but mine still waits for me. Your magic will serve my destiny. Do not tempt my wrath with such lies, peasant. What is that? Amulet around your neck. Come, come. We will find your queen soon. Do not try to calm me, wretch. My destiny cannot be denied. I will find her. He's not getting stronger. He's fixated on that queen of his. Peace, Gangplank. That obsession is his strength. You of all people know the power that comes from following your destiny. Yes, but his destiny is already broken. Mine still lives. Ah, Gangplank. The king's destiny is far from broken. When he senses his queen, he speaks the truth. With her crown in Bilgewater, it will lead him there, then across the world, bringing ruination in his wake. Okay, so <laughs> that was a kind of interesting uh, cutscene there. Looks like Gangplank and Thresh are still concocting some sort of uh, sinister, vile, evil scheme, whatever you like to call it. So, um, what we have to do right now is we have to see, we still have to return to Maokai. So, let's go ahead and head to the, I believe, the Drowned Port. And we should be able to get access to uh, potentially another teleporter there, which should bring us to Maokai. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Ah, Bram. The knock alone should have told me. 
May I come in? Have you changed your mind about our moment? I admit your timing is odd. Ah, uh, priestess. I... Uh, no. Well then, speak. This journey has been difficult. For Brom, yes. But for others, too. You will allow me. Brom can see that you are like a, a snow lion without its snow. Something is amiss. You have a sharp eye, Brom. Indeed, this mission has been difficult for me. When we left Bilgewater, I hoped that my path was blessed by the goddess. But now, I am not so sure. With Pike, the goddess commanded me to go against Buru teachings. But lately, I have also challenged Buru tradition alone. I hoped that she would bless my decision about the serpent collars, but the goddess was silent. You made the right choice. Did I? There are some things I have not shared. Things that make me question the goddess entirely. I am about to tell you a grave secret, Brahm. You must swear to never reveal it. Brom swears. A secret you call grave must be precious indeed. I knew Gangplank was alive. After Sarah tried to kill him, Gangplank came to me. I saved him because the goddess judged him worthy. But now, he has failed to walk that worthy path. And you kept the secret from Sarah. The goddess commanded me to help him. If I told Sarah, she would have killed him in his sickbed. But perhaps I never heard the goddess rightly at all. Perhaps Gangplank deserved to die, and I am a fraud. Brom has a theory. Your goddess is testing you, just as you tested Gangplank. <laughs> to what end? If I fail her test, then all of Bilgewater will fall. Then you will pass, and we will help you. Any test of Ilawi is a test of Brom, too. Soon you will find the right time to tell Sarah the truth. Brom can tell. You think she deserves to know. And for that reason, you have my shield. Good night, Ilawi. You could stay. Another time, perhaps. A great battle with Thresh is approaching, and I feel I should be alone with my thoughts. You are strong, Bram. In ways many men are not. Hmm. That's kind of nice. Um, one thing I, one thing I'm a bit confused though. Um, where you know, be before this, prior to this uh, particular event here, um, how did we know that we are gonna fight Thresh? I know that we are supposed to, you know, there was a part where we entered Thresh's sanctum, but uh, I'm, you know, for some, all of a sudden, Brom says that uh, we're gonna fight Thresh. Like, how did he know? That's, I think maybe that's a little bit of oversight there. Either that, or maybe I, you know, prob probably missed something and uh, I wasn't aware of it. But regardless, um, let's go ahead and head back to the Grove and return to Maokai. Um, okay, first of all, the, the, the drown port looks a bit different. Uh, looks like there's a couple more miswalkers around here. Uh, they look docile though, they don't really look like they are. They, they, look, they look like they're minding their own business. But, uh, you know what, let's just go ahead and move on and see what happens. Looks a bit odd, to be honest. As the dawn darkens, champions gather. Who speaks? Declare yourself, Mistwalker. Many centuries have passed since I had a name. On the Shadow Isles, we lose almost everything. But not all fully turned to the mist. 
For now, you may simply call me Necrit. Well spoken for a creature of nightmares. You'll forgive our skepticism. The grip of shadow is tight. A few sane souls inevitably trickle through. We do what we can to avoid the pull into madness. This one certainly feels different. There is a calm to his soul at the center of his torment. I would expect no less insight from Avastaya. You know them? You've met my people? They would visit us before their ruination. Did... did you meet them? What were they like? Did you see them use their magic? Why were they here? That I cannot say. Those who came did so deliberately, only speaking with a select few. That's... all? Forgive me, I'd hoped for so much more. Hey, we're glossing over the fact that we're apparently allying with a Mistwalker. Are we suddenly okay with this? We have a common enemy. His actions created the nightmarish limbo I exist in. And he is coming for you. Gangplank? Thresh? One of those scumsuckers? <laughs> We've heard of them. No. The Ruined Keen. That doesn't sound good. It isn't. Before he became the Ruined King, he was Diego. A powerful magic user, ruling over a now forgotten empire. I was his advisor. Diego was a man of passion. Beloved by his subjects. Above all else, he loved his queen, Isolde. She was everything to him. But Diego's kingdom was built by conquest. His enemies were a legion, and ultimately proved more cunning than he thought. Diego managed to escape the assassin's blade, but Isolde was not as lucky. She was attacked and poisoned with a tainted weapon. Diego ordered his warriors to scour the world, seeking a cure. Ultimately, they came upon the Blessed Isles, having heard rumors of healing properties in the island's waters. While his army searched, Diego locked himself away with his queen. In time, she passed, and he went mad with grief. He ordered violent suppressions of rebellions amongst his people, clinging to Isol's body and refusing to leave her chamber. The king's generals returned, claiming a cure was found. He set out for the Blessed Isles, while villages burned in his homeland. Diego confronted the inhabitants of the Blessed Isles. They refused to grant him the waters of life. All but one, a conniving scholar with a black heart, the man who would become Thresh. Thresh led Diego to the blessed waters deep below the island. He lowered his soul's body into the waters, and their hidden properties coursed through her. The lantern, wielding a wretch, watched with cruel pleasure as his soul returned. A horrible shadow of her former self. As Diego stared, frozen with grief and terror, the creature attacked. The two of them sank into the depths, dark shadow escaping from their bodies as they were enveloped by the waters. The pain and shadow tore through the island, corrupting the blessed waters and turning them into black mist. Diego was consumed by the mist along with his queen, unleashing the ruined nation. The ruined king has been dormant for ages. Now, Thresh 
seeks artifacts of power that will pull him from the mist, make him whole once more. Gangplank. What a fool. He has no idea what power he's playing with. You must stop the ritual. If the Ruin King manifests, he will unleash the mist across every continent. A heroine to consume the world, ravaging all life in its wake. Are there more like you, who might aid us? There is a gathering at the shoreline, where you enter the island. We watched your arrival with interest. Spied on us, you mean? We had to know your chance of survival, and to know your intentions. I hope you got a good look, so you know what happens to shadows that cross us. Save your threats for Thresh. Stop the ritual. Then, find me at the landing, and you'll see that our purpose is aligned. Okay, so that is actually a very interesting conversation there um, because that is actually, I think if I'm not mistaken, that uh, character here, um, if I just quickly move on over and looks like he's here. So yeah, um, this character here is actually a reference to one of the, um, I would say one of the authorities on leak lore here on YouTube. Um, his name is Necrit and his channel is mainly covering um, the, I would say the uh, the, the ins and outs of the uh, characters and backstories and backgrounds of um, the League of Legends universe. So, um, I would say that was actually a very nice thing from Riot to do. Um, you know, I'm not really sure if he was originally teased to be in this game, but I know for a fact that he was actually um, hinted that, um, you know, in, in to be to exist in the um, League of Legends universe through Legends of Runeterra. There is actually a card um, that, you know, that used um, a... I think I cannot remember what card exactly. I don't exactly have a photographic memory, but um, yeah, there is actually there was actually a card in Legends of Runeterra that actually has um, a person called ne Necritos actually. So if I'm not mistaken, it's changed now to Necrit. But I, you know, like I said, I cannot remember which card. But regardless, it is actually a very nice thing to do from Riot. So I'm kind of happy to see. Um, you know, a, a, a reference to a popular YouTuber here in the game. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and progress into the next area. I think we need to travel to the Grove and return to Maokai. So let's go ahead and quickly do that and see what happens. Uh, we're going to select the Grove. Alright, here we are. So I think uh, Maokai should be up here. found what you seek. The life force was palpable the moment you set foot on the island. Yes, it was astonishing to see what our people accomplished together. Ancient history now carves a path forward through a grim future. Plant the seed that we might reveal hope. He couldn't do that when we first met him. <laughs> that makes two of us. My power returns. Another blow against our enemy. But each step brings you closer to danger. Choose your path carefully. I fear the path may not be ours to choose. Well, 
Let's pick one and keep moving. Before you go, a gift of thanks. Brom, hero of the Freljord. You traveled here for a cure that would save your homeland, and found none. Yet you stay, and fight to save mine. Of course! That is what it means to be a hero. In all my years, I have never met a heart so pure. If this is a virtue of your people, then they must be saved. These are... Uh, leaves. <laughs> I love them. In old times, when there was peace, and men were welcome here, they sought these leaves, and I gave them freely. From them they made elixirs and potions to cure sickness. The cure? Those leaves are a part of me, you see. And within me flows the last of the blessed water you sought. It is my life's blood. The last hope of restoring this land. And it seems yours as well. Rom does not know what to say. <laughs> Rom is... the only one crying. We're all crying on the inside. <laughs> Go now. Find victory. And know that you will always be welcome visitors in Maokai's grove. <laughs> I'm sure you're crying, yeah, so I am pretty sure you're crying. Okay, um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. And looks like the grove has got a little bit of an upgrade. It looks much more nicer right now with lots of greenery. Um, but yeah, we are not here to enjoy too long. That's because we are running out of time, actually. We're about, um, I would say, about 20, 23 minutes in or so. So um, what I would like to do is I'm going to end the video here. We have our new objective, which is to enter the fortress and find Thresh. Um, let me just quickly check the map just to see where we need to go. But uh, like I said, we are running out of time, so we will cover this in the next episode hopefully the map could uh, come for us soon and if we go to the region map and there we go okay so looks like the fortress is towards the right hand side so i like i said we will leave that for t potentially the next episode because we are running out of time so hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of ruin king and if you did consider leaving a like as well as hitting that big red sub button down below i really appreciate your support but most importantly you want to make sure your episodes are uploaded so single player content just like this one you're on my channel so thank you for doing so if you've already done it and with that being said this is capital signing off Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully I catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.